Hi, I'm Eliza. I'll be performing your cranial nerve exam today. Could I just get your name first of all, please? How do you spell that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Great, and your date of birth? Good. And when was the last time you had a cranial nerve exam, more or less? Okay. Mm -hmm. So are you here for a checkup or is there anything in particular? Just a checkup. Okay. Have you noticed any headaches recently? Okay. Have you changed your prescription for your glasses at all recently? Have you had any head injuries, any knocks to the head? Okay. Are you on any medication at the moment? Okay. Good. And are there any other uh, health conditions I should know about? Okay. Wonderful. So, to begin, I'm going to examine your face with my light. You can close your eyes if you would like. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to pass this light over your face. I'm just looking for any bumps, any redness, any swelling. Just gently feel around your face. If there are any areas which feel sore or tender at all, please let me know. your head up for me just so I can have a look at your ask you to close your eyes. I'm just going to very gently palpate over your eyelid. And I'm going to feel your eyebrows. Okay. You can open your eyes if you like. nothing that immediately um, draws my attention. I'm just going to do some touch tests now just to double check that the feeling in your face is working as it should. So I'm going to touch your face either with this end of this brush like that or I'm going to brush it with the soft side like that, okay? So I'd like you to close your eyes and just tell me which side you can feel, the soft brush or the hard end. Good. So close your eyes. 
close your eyes. same thing, just using this pencil instead, so the... there won't be as much of a difference in the sensations because they are both fairly hard, but I want you to tell me if you can feel the sharper end of this pencil or the dull rubber eraser. Okay, good. So keeping your eyes closed, are you ready? Good. 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 I can't see any problems with that. You can open your eyes once again. I think we will move on to the eye test portion of the exam. Okay, so I'm going to bring my light in here and I'm just going to bring it in and out of your field of vision and I just want to see how your eyes respond. So looking straight ahead at me, try not to look directly at the light. I'm just going to flash it in and out of your vision like that. Good. 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 Okay. like your eyes are responding as I would expect. I'm going to bring in this eye chart here and I want you to tell me if the C shape is facing to the left, to the right, to the top or to the bottom, okay? So let's begin with the top line. Let's start with this one. Which way is this facing? Good. And this one, which way is it facing? Good. To the left. This one, which way is it facing? Good. This one, yep, down. This one, good. To the left. This one, it's to the right. Good. This one, yep, up. This one, to the left. Good. And this one, the bottom. Okay, what about this line? Can you try to see these ones? If you're not sure, just have a guess. Good, yeah. This one. Let's go to the top. Good, this one. Yep. Yeah. This one. Good, this one. Good, and this line. Let's try this one. Good, yes. This one. Yep, this one. Okay, this one. Okay, this one. Good, okay. I 
I think we will stop there. Let's go to this. Let's use this one actually. This one has some different pictures on it. I'd like you to tell me, can you name the picture? What is this? It's an umbrella, good. What is this? It's a house, good. And this one is an apple, excellent. Looking at this line, how many apples are there? How many apples can you see? Good, there's one and two. How many umbrellas can you see in this line? Good, there's one umbrella. Looking at this line, how many houses can you see? How many houses? Good, there's one and two. How many apples can you see in this line? Good, there is one and two. Excellent. Now, let's, I want us to have a look at these, at some different colours. Now, the lighting in this room is a little bit off, so the colours might be a little bit difficult to tell. What do you think this colour is? This one is yellow, and this colour is green. Good. Which side is lighter? The yellow or the green? Which side is lighter? Good. I think the yellow is lighter. And let's look at this one. Can you tell me what colour this side is? Good, this side is pink, and this side, can you tell what colour this side is? It's purple, good. And which side do you think is lighter? The pink side or the purple side? Good, I would say the pink side is lighter, okay. Now I'm going to bring one of these pencils into your field of vision. I would like you to tell me which colour enters your field of vision first, okay? So we're looking straight ahead at me and I want you to use your peripheral vision to tell me which colour you can see. Good. Good, that was yellow. Pink, good. Good, that was the green. Yellow, excellent. Purple, good, well done. And pink, well done. Green, good. Yellow, yep. Pink. Purple, green, yellow. Good job. Now, I'm going to use this light again. Once again, I'd like you to look straight ahead at my nose. I'm going to move the light further away and I want you to tell me when you can't see the light anymore. Okay? Good. So looking straight ahead at my nose. Tell me when you can't see the light anymore. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. 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 Mm hmm. you to follow my finger. Can you just follow my finger from side to side? Good. 
I'm going to make it more difficult by bringing the light as well, but I would like you to focus only on my finger. Good. Keep focusing on my finger. No need to look at the light. Just focus on my finger as best as you can. Good job. Going to go a little bit faster now. I'd like you to close your eyes, close your eyes, and I want you to tell me when you can see the light through your eyelids, okay? I'm going to pass the light in front of your closed eyes and you should be able to see the light through your eyelids. Just tell me when it passes, okay? Tell me when you can see the light. Keep your eyes closed for the remainder of this cranial nerve exam. All of the other tests you can do with your eyes closed, so it's completely up to you. We want you to feel as comfortable and relaxed as possible. So, just going to make a few notes about the test that we just did. Your reactions and responses all seem fine. And your eyesight, good with your new prescription. So, yeah, this color test and this. Wonderful. Okay. So, I'm going to move on now to the taste and smell tests. So I have a few different scents here. I'm just going to spray on these lolly sticks. So I'm just going to that on there and I'm going to pass it under your nose. Can you just take a deep breath in? And what does that smell like to you? What does that smell like to you? Good, perfect. That's exactly what it is. And the next one, I'm just going to Take a deep breath in through your nose. Have a good smell. What does that smell like to you? What does that smell like to you? Good. Well done. That is exactly right. And the final smell. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Good. And have a smell of that lolly stick. What does that smell like to you? What does that smell like to you? 
what does that smell like to you? Good, well done. Okay, so your sense of smell seems to be quite accurate. So that's a very good sign. And we're going to move on to the taste tests. I have a few different jars here. I'm going to put a drop of this on your tongue and I would like you to tell me if it tastes sweet, sour, salty, bitter or spicy. So that's sweet, salty, sour, bitter or spicy. Okay. So going to put a few drops on your tongue. Could you open your mouth wide, open wide. Drop, drop, drop. Okay, how does that taste? That's sour, excellent. That is sour, you're correct. Let me try the next one. Same thing, just tell me if it tastes sweet. drops for you there. How does that one taste? That one's sweet. Good. Let's get the next one. And I'm going to drop on your tongue. Are you ready? Drop, drop, drop. How does that one taste? That one's bitter. Yes, correct. Okay, great. So the taste and smell is all good. I can't see any issues with that. So let's move on to the hearing tests. And I do just want to have a little examine of your ears first of all. So I'm just going to reach around here if you could tilt your head this way. Perfect. You have to just move your head slightly. Okay. I'm going to have a look back in your ear. And build up nothing you do. You do get sound. If you could just turn your head to the other side, I'm going to have a look in your other ear. Good, there we go. Let's just see again. It's also in the top of the Nothing we do. Nothing I can see a little bit of wax build up, which is perfectly normal, nothing to be worried about. Um, okay, so I'm just going to make a sound with my gloves and I want you to tell me if you can hear it or not, okay? Can you hear this? Good, can you hear this? Can you hear it now? It's further away. Okay, and can you hear it now? Okay, good. Now I'm going to start closer and move further away. I want you to tell me when you can't hear the sound anymore. Good. Okay, good, and again. Now I'm going to make a few 
clicking sounds with my fingers. I want you to tell me how many clicks you can hear. How many was that? That was seven. Good. And again. How many was that? That was five. Good. We're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to make some sounds with my gloves as well, just for some distractions. I want you to just count my clicks. Do you count how many that was? Okay, good job. Okay, one more time. And that time. Good, okay. Wonderful. Now I'm going to make a different sound. I'm going to tap on this wooden postcard. Can you hear it or not? Can you hear this? Good. And this side? Good. And a bit further away. Okay. And over here? I just want you to tell me when the tapping starts and stops, okay? So tell me when the tapping starts. Good. And tell me when it stops. Good. Once again, tell me when it starts and stops. short-term memory. So I'm going to whisper three words in your ears and I want you to repeat them back but in the reverse order. So for example, if I whisper one, two, three, then I'd like you to repeat back three, two, one. Good, okay. I'm going to begin with some numbers, so just repeat the numbers in the reverse order. some colors, just the same thing, repeat them in the reverse order. Okay. Yellow, green, purple. Good. Turquoise, orange, brown. Good. Violet, Wonderful. And finally, I'm going to whisper some animals. And once again, repeat them in the reverse order. Zebra, lion, rhinoceros. Good.
go, crocodile. Good. And finally, we yeah. have elephant, tortoise, owl. Good. Good job. Well, I can't see any issues with any of your cranial nerves. We've tested your sense of touch, we had a look at your eyesight, we did your um, taste and smell and your hearing, and we had a little look at your short-term memory, and everything looks like it is working as I would expect. So. I don't think we will need any follow-up sessions. I will be in touch when it's time for your next checkup. And until then, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll speak.